Made with EasyVid, freeware at easyvid.com. Our top 10 list of running shoes doesn't really present a list in the sense that it is ranked from 10 to 1. Instead, we're looking at 10 different running shoes that are meant for different people. For example, at number 2, we have the best shoe for people with wide feet, whereas at number 4, we have the best shoe for people who do a lot of trail running. So starting off with number 10, we have the Saucony Men's Guide 7 running shoe. This is what we believe to be the best introductory running shoe or the best running shoe for rookies. The front of the shoe is very flexible and that encourages natural movement which you may not be used to if you are new to running. The price is very reasonable and these shoes are great for many different environments including trails, concrete or treadmills. To get full reviews for each pair of men's running shoes and quickly narrow down which one is right for you, click the links beneath this video or search for EasyVid Best Men's Running Shoes. Number 9 is the best shoe if you're doing barefoot training. This is sort of a hybrid shoe that will get you in through a transition from a regular running shoe to barefoot. It's the Nike Free 5.0. Before you panic about the color in the pictures, you should know that this is available in over 30 different color styles. And because this shoe has been designed for barefoot running, there's really not a lot of arch support. So make sure that you only get this shoe if you're actually intending to go to barefoot running full time. Number 8 on our list is sort of a wild card. It's in here because it looks funky and we wanted to include a running shoe for people who just want attention for the looks. Now overall it's a pretty comfortable shoe, but it's not really worth the price. But it is fun to look at the pictures of these ASICs. At number 7 we have what we call a hybrid style running shoe. This is a shoe for casual runners, not serious runners. People that want to run every once in a while, but also want a pair of shoes that they can wear in public and that match their outfits. New Balance is known for making very comfortable shoes and the ML574 is no exception to that. However, the body of the shoe is made with suede and it's not very breathable, which is why we don't recommend this for serious runners, just casual runners. To get full reviews for each pair of men's running shoes and quickly narrow down which one is right for you, click the links beneath this video or search for each EasyVid Best Men's Running Shoes. With number 6 we start getting serious about our list. This is the Brooks Men's Adrenaline GTS Running Shoe. And the reason we recommend it for marathons is because it solves the problem that a lot of runners have where they have a different pair for training and a different pair for actually doing long distance single session runs. The shoe is versatile and comfortable enough to last through both training and the actual marathon itself. On top of that, they've been designed specifically to help with even weight distribution which helps avoid overpronation for long runs. Oh and best of all, no blisters. Number 5 is the best lightweight pair of running shoes. This is the Nike Men's Flex RN. The weight is roughly 9 ounces and the cushioning is surprisingly good for such a lightweight shoe. On top of that, there are practically no inner seams so your foot moves around comfortably and reduces the amount of blisters that you'll get. The shoes are very breathable and are therefore very functional. You can use them for running, for regular visits to the gym, or kickboxing, or whatever you do. Here at number 4 we have what we believe to be the best trail running shoe. This is the New Balance Men's MT510 Trail Runner that includes an exceptional rubber sole for grip which we think is the most important thing for trail running to avoid injury. It also has a very tight hold on the ankle so if you do anything weird, you hit a rock or anything like that, you have less risk of injury. Now at number 3 we have something that's very hard to test and come up with a reasonable conclusion for which is the best running shoe for hard surfaces including concrete. Eventually we settled on the Men's Wave Creation 15 by Mizuno. This was something of a painful decision because the shoe is pretty expensive generally running around $120 to $180. That aside, this incredible pair of shoes doesn't even need to be broken in. You feel like you've already broken it in the first time you use them. You'll find that you get an exceptional push on your gait and you feel like you're running directly on the road. You barely feel the shoes. Feet hardly move around around in them and it makes these shoes great for people who are overweight or have an injury and they need to get back into running but they don't have the shoes to support it. At number 2 we have the Asics Men's Gel Venture 4. Now this running shoe is perfect for people with wide feet. Wide feet people have a hard time finding shoes, a lot of Nikes are really narrow, a lot of other brands are narrow and their wide feet offerings are not that great to begin with. These shoes just fit perfectly every time. I have wide feet, they fit me great. I got an 11.5 4E and it's definitely my everyday runner because it fits better than any other shoe that I own. The downside of the shoe is that the comfort is not quite as good as some of the other ones and it's not good for long term runs like marathons or half marathons. But if you have wide feet and you're not doing anything more than a 10k this is perfect. To get full reviews for each pair of men's running shoes and quickly narrow down which one is right for you, click the links beneath this video or search for EasyVid Best Men's Running Shoes.
And finally at number one, we have the Asics Gel Kayano 20. This is probably the best overall running shoe on our list, but what we really like about it the most is its ability to overcome improper form. By no means should it be relied upon for injury prevention, but it does help with a lot of cases for people that have been injured in the past. This is especially true for people with knee injuries. If you've had issues with your knee or shin splints, you should definitely check this one out. To get full reviews for each pair of men's running shoes and quickly narrow down which one is right for you, click the links beneath this video or search for EasyVid Best Men's Running Shoes.